I've made some previous videos where I've gone on about how exciting the Panaplex displays are on calculators. This is one of them. This is the Sharp Compet CS6301 with the 14-digit Panaplex display and the special 8-segment display with the special extra segment for just for the 4. I think that's quite interesting. But this is comparatively modern compared to the calculator I'm going to show you next. This one uses a seven segment flat plane display. All those seven segments are flat and in the same plane inside the display itself. Before we had Panaplex, we had Nixie tubes. And here is a Nixie tube calculator. This one is the Anita 1000 LSI. Probably stands for large scale integration. So this is a Nixie tube calculator. Fantastic styling. Look at the, the design of this thing. It is quite unlike any other calculator that I've ever seen, I don't think. There's this fantastic um, wrap-around styling around the display. Anyway, that's not the only interesting thing about the Anita 1000 LSI. It uses Nixie tubes. The Nixie tubes are just like you'd see in a digital voltmeter or digital uh, test equipment of that era. They are a neon display. The neon electrode is shaped like a digit and we can make it display numbers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Now, they're not all in the same plane. They're stacked up one above the, or one behind the other. So it looks to me like the six is at the front and the nine is at the back. And I think the two is also quite close to the back of the display. And things like the five and six, they're nearer the front. So it, it wiggles a little bit. It, it's got a little bit of a wiggle to it when you put different digits up. Rather nice, I think, but that's just me. Um, now, if I clear that... Not only is it Nixie tube display with fantastic industrial design, it's also reverse polish. It hasn't got an equals button. There's a button marked enter first number, which is like the enter key on a Hewlett Packard reverse polish machine. At this one, if we put in one, two, five, enter first number, two, and then press multiply, the answer is 250. So it's reverse Polish in the same way that the typical classic Hewlett Packard calculators were reverse Polish. You enter the numbers first. There's no clear button. I, 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 I don't quite understand. This is not a clear button. This marked C doesn't clear the display. You simply put in a number. Let's say you want to put in uh, 153 and then you enter and then you put, um, let's say, 200, and then you add, and there's your answer. So you're putting in the numbers first, and then, in a postfix notation, you're putting in the operation you want to do on the numbers, which makes it reverse Polish. Quite a surprise for a machine of this age. Um, we all sort of thought, well, I certainly thought that reverse Polish came in with the Hewlett Packards, but nope, this is a bit older than that, and it can only do the four functions, not a scientific of any sort, there's not even a square root. But there it is, the Anita 1000 LSI Nixie Tube Reverse Polish Calculator.